Hi, I'm Ed from More Music and MoreGuitars.com, and I'm holding a guitar that is actually near and dear to me. It is a custom build by Jacob Harper. Uh, Harper Guitars uh, is based here in southern Indiana. Some players that you are familiar with are playing his guitars. But very, very small builder from a very small town in southern Indiana. And uh, we had the pleasure of specking out some guitars. And like I said, this one is near and dear to me because this one is mine. So this is based on a body of Jacob's called the Nebula S. And this is a Nebula. And kind of the thing when you're specking out guitars, you know, I've been to PRS and you do wood library runs and private stock and stuff. But you always know that you're feeling that you have to work within the parameters of what, you know, one would expect from, uh, I guess, a certain brand or, or, or builder. And um, so with that in mind, I really was kind of hesitant, but I said, hey, look, take that Nebula S, and what if we did it without a carved top? Jake was like, okay, yeah. And uh, I said, look, I'm interested in doing something that's really, really simple in terms of, of controls, all right? And I just wanted like a stripped down rock and roll machine. So. We took it off running, okay. So this guitar has got an alder body. All right, it's got this very, very nice uh, flame maple neck, ebony fretboard. And for electronics, I went, well, hey man, let's just go with a pearly gates and the bridge. And you know, Jacob said, hey, I got a Babbage bridge that'll work perfectly for that pickup. So here it is, all right, smoked chrome, which is what we wanted, you know, it's just like this patina thing going on. And I said, well, if we've got, you know, pearly gates and the bridge, you gotta throw a Texas special in the neck. And I really just wanted simple, three-way, one volume, all right? And uh, so the Texas Special is actually one from one of my guitars. It's a Stratocaster, I got a Stratocaster. I took the bridge pickup out and uh, put hot rails in it years ago. So I had this pickup floating around and I wanted to use it you know, for this guitar. So get, Jake was like, yeah. And he had the idea, like, let's just leave the bobbin off. So we have this really cool, just, I love it, man. It's great, you know. So the guitar is speaking for itself right now. We've got a great fretboard, uh, locking tuners, uh, the controls, the playability. You know, one of the things that we found out right away from putting the neck, the bridge position pickup in the neck, all right, is this cool out of phase thing that we got. Here we go. All right, so I mean, that's a unique right there. There's your pearly gates. And that is exactly what I was hoping for in the neck position. So I wanted to see stage friendly features and things that catch the eye like the glow in the dark inlays. That's awesome, all right, but also super lightweight instrument and for knob torquers out there like myself, just give me one volume knob. That's all we need, all right? Three-way switch and <laughs> just rock it out. Then the next thing I hit him with was, all right, so you got all this beautiful curled maple and flat. I said, I wanna do something really different. And um, this is actually a sheet of stamps that we've all paid for from the US Post to Surface, right? <laughs> and it's the Sugar Skull. And it's like, it started calling this the, the you know, the, the Day of the Dead guitar. It's just something that like, really is different. Didn't want a guitar to look like it was designed by a bunch of middle-aged guys in committee. I wanted something that was rock and roll. And can I say who I thought that this would be? All right, so I was thinking like a Demi Lovato type. All right, so you know anyone that knows Demi or Asian, I was actually thinking of you because you have the great taste to hire Anita Strauss in your band. All right, so we're all fans. And I was thinking this would be a really great guitar for someone that was fronting a band playing, and, you know, it could be a lead player too, obviously, you know, the guitar's gonna nearly reflect whoever's playing it, but a super stage friendly rock and roll guitar that has really the under the hood features that deliver. And um, I'm so happy with the way this came out. It's just great, you know, it's a fun, fun guitar to play, which to me is one of the, major criteria for any guitar is like, do you enjoy playing? Is it fun? This guitar definitely delivers and I'm so happy with the way it came out. So um, yeah, if you get a chance, you know, come by, check it out or uh, let Demi's people know that I was thinking of her when doing this build and, uh, you know, maybe Nita would play it, all right? <laughs> anyway, it's available here at More Music and moreguitars.com.